good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on heat transfer today we are going to discuss the shape factor for two concentric black c- cylinders cylinders so it is one cylinder concentric cylinders means it is like tube in tube heat exchanger one cylinder is placed inside the large cylinder this is cylinder 1 this is cylinder 2 if you project the lines you will get like this okay right cylinder 1 is inside cylinder cylinder 2 is the outside cylinder large cylinder one represents the outer surface of the inner cylinder one represents the outer surface of the that means this one outer surface of the inner cylinder two represents the inner surface of the outer cylinder two represents the inner surface of the outer cylinder that means heat cannot go outside because it is fully insulated f11 plus f12 equal to 1 you know shape sum of all shape factors from one surface is some sum of all shape factors for any surface is equal to 1 f11 plus f12 equal to 1 because there are only two surfaces so f122 plus f11 is equal to 1 f11 is zero because it is a flat so whatever the radiation which is emitted by one will strike the two only it will never come and strike the same surface 11 is zero that's why so if 11 is zero means 1 2 become 1 apply reciprocity rule a1 f12 equal to a2 f21 so f21 equal to a1 by a2 f122 f122 is 1 so a1 by a2 next apply recipe you know sum of all shape factors for surface 2 is also 1 f21 plus f22 equal to 1 f22 equal to 1 minus f21 1 minus f21 means a1 by a2 1 minus a1 a1 means pi dl surface area we need to consider in heat transfer sorry in radiation especially we need to consider surface area surface area and area of the inside cylinder is pi d into length pi d1 into l a2 d2 is the diameter so pi d2 into l length of the cylinder cylinder pi d2 into l now f22 equal to 1 minus pi into pi 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 get cancel ll get cancel 1 minus d1 by d2 if d2 is equal to 2d1 that means outer diameter is double the inner diameter then f22 becomes 50% that means if it is d2 is equal to 2d1 two times 2d1 d1 d1 cancel 1 by it become 1 minus 1 by 2 because it is d1 2d1 d1 d1 get cancel 1 minus 1 by 2 2 minus this is 2 minus 1 1 and the denominator is 2 so 0.5 f22 is 0.5 that is 50% so 50% of radiation from surface to falls on itself that means 50% of the total radiation which is emitted from the surface to will strike the same surface itself you may get confused here that's why i have drawn here so if i if i see if you see exactly you know 50 per, that means it may go like this also so only 50% of the energy is striking the cylinder was cylinder 1 remaining 50% of the radiation energy which is emitted by the cylinder 2 is striking the same surface itself as it is black cylinder when it is striking automatically it will absorb so that means 50% of the radiative ener- radiative energy which is emitted from surface 2 will absorbed by the same cylinder itself thank you very much